ethical theories, it is easiest to remember the key thinker for Kantian ethics because, surprise, surprise, his name was Immanuel Kant. Immanuel Kant was a German philosopher and one of the most important thinkers during the Enlightenment. His work ranged from science to philosophy, making him one of the most influential writers in modern Western thought. Kantian ethics is a deontological theory concerned with human duty. Something is good only when someone carries out their duty to do it. So goodness is based on doing the correct thing. In order to understand Kantian ethics, we need to break down his theory. This can be done through the categorical imperative, which is split into three sections. Universability, ends in themselves, kingdom of ends. So, number one, universability is the way in which a rule can be applied to everyone regardless of the situation. Therefore, we should only do what we are willing for everyone to do without it depending on any situation. Kant wants everyone to be free and rational, and so rules must be universal. Otherwise, others will not have the same freedom to act on the same moral principles as everybody else. Secondarily, we should always treat people as ends in themselves, not as a means to an end. By this, Kant means we should carry out actions because we want to and not for a hidden agenda. The typical example your teacher may have mentioned is helping an old lady cross the road to impress your crush is the opposite of what Kant wanted as you should help the old lady because you want to and enjoy doing it. And finally, we should imagine that we live as a member of and as a leader of the kingdom of ends. This is a kingdom where all people live in harmony and value the universal rules. Overall, Kant concluded, if humans can follow the categorical imperative effectively, we will reach summum bonum. This is the place where our happiness and our virtue, good actions through doing our duty, come together. So, there you have it. Kantian ethics in under five minutes. Kant didn't only just contribute to the ethical world, but also the philosophical world. Maybe you could carry out some research on some of the things that he contributed to arguments surrounding the existence of God and philosophy in general. Thank you for watching.